Hey YouTube, Droid Review here. Um, I'm not really going to be doing too much of an app review right now. Maybe a couple different things that I'm going to show custom on the phone. Um, as you can see, my phone looks a little bit different. It's actually a lot different. <clears throat> I'm running a rooted Droid, and what that means is basically I've hacked the phone, enabled to me to download custom, um, uh, I guess themes you could call it, or ROMs. And what a ROM is is basically your own personalized um, operating system of the actual Android operating system and it's kind of what I've got going on right now is a spin-off of Android 2.1 or I should say you know the Nexus 1 software that's running right now on the Nexus's phone Nexus 1 phones um, anyways I'll go over a couple different features um, right now and um, if I get enough questions or whatever I'll write a or I'll make a tutorial on how to do this um, if I get enough feedback or whatever. If not, I'm just kind of showing you what I got on my phone here. Um, now, uh, the biggest thing, uh, obviously, or not the biggest thing, but I'll show you right now is we have um, one, two, three, four, and five screens, right? So there's a total of five screens in this ROM, which is pretty cool, upgraded to the original three, um, which is nice to have, obviously, for people um, that need a lot of... Uh, desktop space I guess you could call it. Um, you can see that I'm running uh, beautiful widgets clock and weather which is still nice I love it to death it's a paid app in the Android market. Um, if you come to the right here I'm using uh, silent and vibrant beautiful widgets um, they basically make the phone go into silent right off the bat or uh, non-silent or vibrate vice versa. Um, one of the biggest changes um, in 2.1 you're gonna notice is the gallery so we'll open up the gallery here, and uh, what you can see is how the gallery pops up here. And this is what it's going to look like. It's a real nice 3D, sorry, real nice 3D rendering of all the images that we got going on here. Um, and uh, when you click on the image box, it's going to come up like this and scroll through it. And then when you actually open up an image, when it comes and loads up the full res image, you can slide through it and it's pretty responsive it's pretty fast I mean I can sit here do this all day it's not really laggy it might be just because this is such a new ROM so bear with me please if my phone lags don't make fun of me um, but um, it is a custom ROM so expect some uh, some maybe lagginess or a couple forced closes but that goes with the uh, with hacking your phone expect it <laughs> um, so this is what it's gonna look like I'll kinda open up a full picture view of all my pictures here that I have on the phone somewhat um, and you, this is basically how it's gonna look when you scroll through them um, it usually loads a lot faster I think I just have a lot going on in my phone right now um, anyway but that's how it's gonna look that's the Android 2.1 gallery and when you like use your finger and drag it it gives that nice 3D effect so let's go back okay so um, now as you can see I also have um, a little bit difference here um, this is obviously the power bore that everyone already has. Um, this widget right here is the news and weather widget that's going to come um, in the Android 2.1 software, supposedly. And um, basically, uh, this one right here, the Google, is going to be, um, this is just a custom custom uh, widget bar that the guy made. And by the way, this ROM is called the uh, Smoked Glass ROM. And it can be found on a lot of popular Android forums, such as All Droid or androidforums.com um, like I said earlier if I get enough responses or whatever I'll, I'll, I'll make a video of um, how to do this and how to um, make your you know your uh, droid look like this um, anyway uh, the next thing that I'm running right now is this uh, calendar widget which I think is very nice it's called the Peer Grid calendar widget and uh, it can be purchased in the um, in the Android market, I think it's like a dollar thirty or something like that. Um, it's nice. It works just like the uh, regular calendar. You just click on a date, and um, it'll bring up whatever you got going on for that day. Obviously here, and then um, that's pretty much the calendar. I like it just because it gives you a nice visual uh, of the calendar right there instead of what comes stock with the phone. Um, I have two soft touch buttons on each side of the launcher. This one will activate the internet. This one over here will do the phone, obviously, so if I bring up the phone, it's just going to bring up my, you know, the usual phone. There's nothing changed in this. Um, 
Now, this is kind of the ooh and ah, is the launcher. It's the 2.1 launcher. And if we click right here, it's going to have a nice, cool animation and 3D effect when I'm scrolling through here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, so far, so good on this. Um, I haven't had too many force closes at all with this ROM. And um, surprisingly, this launcher loads up pretty quick once you get it um, enabled. I mean, it works fairly well, as you can see. Um, and it has a nice animation in and out, which is really cool. And supposedly this is going to be on Nexus and Android 2.1 when it finally comes out, if it ever does. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, the browser. This is huge. Um, it comes uh, with uh, multi-touch support in the browser itself. Not Dolphin browser. I'm talking about uh, the Droids browser here. So let's go ahead and open up the browser. Um, and let's see, it's, I think it's going to go to google.com, which it is. Um, so let's just bring up a favorite here. Um, one of my favorites we'll do is in Gadget Mobile. We'll load this up here real quick. And bear with me, my table is kind of slick, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to multi-touch this. <laughs> So here is Engadget, and if we use the two fingers, um, we just zoom, zoom in right there, and zoom back out. So that's native browser multi-touch, is what they're calling this, obviously. So um, native browser meaning we're using the browser that's already installed with every single droid that you purchase, and not having to use a third-party application like um, uh, Dolphin Browser. And it's pretty responsive. I like it. It's similar to a lot of um, uh, the milestone, which that has. And um, I don't know. I like it. it. And it works great. So let's just go ahead and click home here. And as you can see, my phone is still snappy. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, oh, one more thing that's changed, obviously, in the keyboard. Um, I'm going to bring up something real quick here is that um, in the Android keyboard now, um, the 2.1, you're going to see this little microphone uh, key. And what that does is you can actually speak your text. That's basically it. Um, so instead of the comma being there, you're going to see a little microphone. It's good and bad. I kind of want the comma back there because now you have to shift comma or open up the um, little symbols just to make a comma. Um, so I don't know. It's hit and miss there. So let's get out of here. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to do a quick video of this. I kind of ran long, eight minutes, but no big deal. Um, please, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of them. Um, if I do get a bunch of comments and questions, I'll probably write up a tutorial uh, and, and film it for you guys. Uh, again, this is something that's kind of for advanced users. It's not for something that's uh, it's not easy to do, I, I would say. Um, after you do learn it, it can be very easy, but you do have to spend a lot of time reading on how to do it. You might, and you have to really run a risk of hurting your phone or, or um, I guess people calling it bricking your phone. Um, but that that you run the risk when you hack anything or, or modify anything. It's just like a car, you know. If you want to install something crazy on your car, you might risk blowing your engine. Well, it's the same thing with this phone. And if you don't have insurance and you're not under warranty, you might want to be careful. So um, just uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. And uh, that's what I'm running right now, guys. So thanks for watching. And um, that's it. Talk to you guys later.